Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to get Hebrew QWERTY for Windows and uh, just like they have on a Mac and you can either download this from the Dropbox link or the Mediafire link so right now I happen to be on Dropbox so I'm just going to hit download it's going to ask you where to download the file so I, I usually pick desktop just so that I know where it is I can get to it right away without going through any folder so I'm going to hit save uh, if you get this pop up here do not worry it's not a virus just press keep and you should download it. It takes a second because it's a very small file. Uh, once you finish with that, you want to open it and just hit extract to and go to, uh, I'll download it to the desktop as well. I'll extract it to the desktop rather. And uh, once that window disappears, it should be good. And uh, here it is, great. So double click it and inside you have the folder of Hebrew QWERTY. Now don't worry about all these files right now. All you have to do is run setup because setup is going to determine which of these installers to run based off of your computer. So you don't even have to worry, just open up setup. Uh, and what happens is, is you're going to get that little shield that you're not going to see right now when I'm gonna be clicking, but it's basically the user account control, that yellow shield with the black exclamation mark. Do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? All you have to do is hit yes. And, and shortly after you should get this installation complete window because again it's a very small file so I am going to just minimize this for now um, and now we're going to actually set up the, the the language so that we can use it so what you have to do is go to the start menu and go into control panel here you have clock language and region you want to press that and then here you have region and language so you're gonna press that you're gonna have this little window that's gonna pop up and it has a few tabs so go to keyboards and languages and then just hit change keyboard now I already installed this but I'm going to remove it so that I can show you how to install it if you don't have it already all you have to do is go to add and then scroll down to H for Hebrew hit that plus to expand it and hit the second plus and then you're going to select Hebrew QWERTY and once you have it checked off you just hit OK and uh, over here also, um, you can select where you want the language bar to be displayed. So right now I have it docked in the task bar, which is right down here. Uh, so you see this EN for English. So you can have it docked right there or floating, whichever one you want. And also over here, I, I just make sure that this is checked off, that I have control and shift um, set up so that whenever I hit control and shift, I'll automatically switch languages uh, between English and whatever other language I have, in this case being Hebrew QWERTY. So here you could change the sequence. They don't give you many options. So I just stick with control shift, but all you have to do is just hit okay. Make sure everything is good. Okay. Cancel all these screens. And now I'm going to open up notepad. Um, and I'm going to right click and just do right to left reading order because it's Hebrew. And I'm going to now type up uh, something in Hebrew. So here, if you notice it's in English. So what I'm going to do is hit control shift and it should switch to Hebrew and well apparently I have to switch that back um, and just you can now begin typing alright very good uh, so that's that's the way that that works and now if you if you want to also see how the actual layout is so in that same folder where you ran setup there's a picture file called layout so just double click it and here you can see exactly how um, the keyboard is displayed so it's very smart in a sense I, I like this keyboard because it's based off of sound so for example in English if you know the sounds in Hebrew and English you can type in Hebrew it's very easy uh, Aleph is a for example I mean a is Aleph right and uh, uh, Z would be Zayn, Bet would be uh, uh, the letter B, uh, Nun would be N, Mem is is uh, the letter M. Wow, it's really confu <laughs> confused me for a second. Um, the only ones that don't really make sense is the uh, the W. Um, well, the W makes sense visually, not not because the W sounds like a shin, but because it looks like a shin. So that's why the shin is in the W slot over here. And the, the other two that don't really make sense, but you'll get the hang of it, is uh, Tet, which is Y, and um, 
uh, Chet, which is which is J. J is Chet for some reason. Um, I guess you can make sense of it by saying that the T is tough, right? And next to it is the other T sounding uh, letter, if you will. If that works, then that's great. And then if you want to see how it looks from when you hold down shift, this is the shift view. And basically, uh, some letters have the, the sofit form, which is like if, they're dis if this letter appears at the end of a word, it has its final form. This is the way that you do it. Um, and there's some other stuff like the shekel symbol. Um, but yeah, this is a very simple keyboard, but it's the easiest keyboard that I found to type English, um, to type Hebrew if you're an English speaker. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah.